In this video, I will demonstrate how you can change your WordPress theme directly to the PHP My Admin database management tool. And before we proceed with the steps, which I will show you in this video, make sure to have a full backup copy of your website. So once that's done, uh, log into your hosting account and then look for PHP My Admin and log into the area. Then once there, uh, look for the database which is associated with your WordPress installation. In my case, it's WP underscore test underscore DB. So let's open it. Then uh, you have to look for the options table. So let's type at the top options. And in my case is called WP underscore options. So I'll open it. Then uh, make sure to increase the number of uh, rows to like 100 and uh, look for the template and style sheet. In my case, it's option ID 40 and 41. So as you can see, the option value for the template is 2022 and style sheet is also 2022, which is essentially the theme which I currently have installed on my WordPress site. So um, in order to change the theme, we have to go to the file manager and then uh, look for wp-content folder. And then within the uh, folder, look for themes folder. And right here are all the themes which are installed on the website. Uh, currently, uh, the th active theme is 2022. So for the purpose of this example, let's, let's change it to uh, Zever theme. So le let me go back to the PHP my admin and uh, double click on the 2022 and type Zever. You want to make sure it's spelled out exactly how it's in the folder in the file manager. Do, do this for the template. Uh, once it's saved, uh, we have to do the same thing for the style sheet. Zebra. Perfect. So now uh, let me go back to my site and refresh it and see if the changes have been made. Yeah. So this is the Zebra theme. And um, also for the purpose of this example, we can go ahead and revert back to the original theme. So let's uh, let's see what the spelling is like. 2022, okay. Uh, let's change from zero to 20, 2022. And once I refresh the page on my site, as you can see, we're back to the 2022 theme. So I hope you found this WordPress tutorial useful and for more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.